Welcome back to Cool Club's headquarters here in Scottsdale. Today we've got Mark Timms, our CEO and founder. We are with Mac Gibbs. He's our territory ma manager for Southern Arizona. And we've got Steve Nichols, who is the director of national accounts, both with Shrixen. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Well, great to have you. Um, I know this is an exciting time for you guys. We've got some new driver product coming and we want you guys to tell us all about it. Awesome. Whoever's more excited goes first. <laughs> All right, so um, Strix on Driver is probably not real well known for our woods in the past. Um, if I go back a few generations, when I look at our, we have probably 35 tour players out there right now playing our equipment, signed uh, to play our equipment. And if you looked about four years ago, we had, of those 35 players, zero drivers in play. Okay, so... We've always made a decent driver, just not one that was significantly faster than, than other drivers. We, uh, we tend to err on the thicker side of things, being owned by a Japanese company. They're very conservative. They don't like a lot of breakage. They don't like a lot of dents. So we were, might have been just as hot in the center, but we might have lost a little bit on the perimeter. And uh, so I think our last generation that we came out with, the current one, ZX5 and 7, of those 35 players we have out there, half of them moved into the new drivers. So getting significantly faster, I think you guys did a lot of testing on the current one in the past and it tested very well. We saw that out on tour as well. The new one is all about speed. Uh, we've got some new technology that's uh, crazy good and it's getting a, soup, uh, a lot of fast adoption out on tour. It's been out there for about two months now and we're seeing a lot of our guys already moving into it. I would say at least 75% of them are into it now. Uh, we have at least 25, last I looked, that are into it. So it's significantly faster, and that's because of we were missing one head out there, you know. So we have two. We have a ZX5 head, which was more game improvement, uh, more of a point-and-click type of driver, very fast, forgiving but it might have spun a little bit too much for those guys that have really significant club head speeds. The ZX-7, that kind of fixed it. It knocked down the speed a little bit, but it wasn't as forgiving. It wasn't as, they wouldn't get as much distance off of the miss hits. Did you change head size for the old one? We did not change the head size. They're, all of them are all 460 cc's, uh, but we added an LS version. So now we have a ZX-5 LS low spin version. So now they get the best of both worlds. They get the forgiveness of a ZX-5, but the playability of the ZX-7. So that's what we're seeing out there is that they're getting these really fast club head speeds or ball speeds, and they're not losing, they're not giving up forgiveness, yeah. uh, which is what they're looking for. Well, it's interesting. I mean, this is a little bit sidetracked here, but we've just broken down some player categories for our testing. And one, we've got, we've got tour, then we've got players, and then we've got game improvement. Sure. And that's basically that's what you've got. Right? So yeah. you, can have, you, know, you can break it down more, but there's so many of them, it's hard to figure out which one's which. Absolutely. Yeah. So your ZX7 is tool, yep. ZX5 is in the middle of players, yeah. and then you've got game improvement. Oh, sorry. You've got players really is the LS, ZX5 yeah. LS, and exactly. then your game improvement is just the five. Exactly. Yes. Uh, and tell us about your speed technology. What, what's the new, the new tech? <clears throat> So we have a, a thing called we call rebound frame technology, and, and basically every driver has a trampoline effect. We all know what that is, COR. Um, you know, so every, every driver that's out there, the face is flexing and delivering energy back to the ball, um, depending on, you know, but what we have is rebound frame. So our entire head is flexing with the face. So we have some stiff, rigid zones uh, by a softer flex zones and long story short, I don't want to get too technical here, but if you just picture yourself jumping on a trampoline, well that trampoline is the face of the club. Now replace those legs with springs and now you've got the entire trampoline jumping with you. So, you know, delivering energy, you know, absorbing energy from the golf ball and then delivering it back. So that's kind of where we're getting these club heads or these ball speeds. and. The reports we're getting back from our tour guys is they're gaining two and a half, three, three and a half miles an hour more ball speed than their current version, and even some of their gamers that were not even our drivers. So, yeah, well, that's really cool. good news. That's a lot, actually. Yeah. 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 Lots of, you know, more, you know, ten yards more, ten yards more every year, we'd be all be in the five. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, the ones that actually really do, you know, deliver more ball speed—that's substantial. And one or two miles of ball speed doesn't sound like a lot, but that's like 
eight, nine yards. Yeah, for sure. What did you say, three, three and a half? Some of them, yeah, some of them picked up. You know, some of the guys that we are not our longer hitters, you know, they're really seeing some of these uh, – Performance benefits. Well, we need which it for is the great. shorter hitter because most of our cutters, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, myself included. By yeah, <laughs> you, know, you and me both. Um, tell us a little bit about the spin characteristic. Um, obviously, that's really where you're targeting. You know, forgiveness and spin are coming together. Mm -hmm. How many RPMs? Sorry to put you on the spot. Roughly, if you went from seven to five to LS. So what I what I've been told is so the ZX5 um, compared to the ZX7 is about 400 RPMs less. And that's exactly what the ZX5 to the ZX5 LS is. And what club head speed are you talking about there? Because obviously that's relative to speed. Right? Yeah, um, I want to see. you have any idea? I was told around 105 is okay. where they were testing right, so that. That's, that's doable. It's not, uh, yeah. you, know, you talk about that, you know, the higher speeds, it, it, it means a lot. And the lower sure. speeds, it's less important. So but that's substantial, though. That's 105. Yeah. They've got customers there. I used to be there <laughs> once. <laughs> yeah. Um, and this isn't just a driver family. It's, you're going to bring in woods and hybrids to go along with it. Fairway woods. We have one line of fairway woods. So we don't have a, a ZX5 fairway wood, a ZX7 fairway wood. We have one a line of fairway woods, a strong three, a three, a five, and a seven. Right. <laughs> and I'm bringing these just up on the screen yeah. here now. So you're going to be able to see, hopefully, uh, Glenn can flick to the computer for us. So you've got your lofts here on the right-hand side. So you're doing a three plus, that kind of real uh, yeah, mini right. driver kind yeah. of feel off the tee. Yeah. Um, and then going all the way down to 21 degrees, which is cool. Um, any tech, so still rebound frame in the in the fairway woods? Yep. Yes. And uh, I mean, what's crazy is, I mean, I have a lot of, uh, a few friends that are out on tour and they tell me, do not sleep on this one. This is the best fairway wood we've ever made. It could be, it's, he said it's in, the one guy I'm talking about in general is, is Brent Grant. He's a, a local guy here. Uh, he just got his PGA Tour card this year and he was number two in Corn Ferry on driver distance last year, so he's not short. Um, but he put the driver in play the first week out, and he put the fairway wood as well. And he goes, your fairway wood is so good. He hated our one. I hate to say the word. He, he, <laughs> right, did, right, right, right. he didn't like our previous generation. He just said sometimes it would just go different distances. But uh, now he said this one, he goes, I can hit it 295 if I want to. I can hit it 265 if I want to take a little off. I'm going, I hate you. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Exactly, right? That's Thanks to our drivers. Yeah. <laughs> Those are two different ferry woods then? We're looking at the screen here. The uh, ZX7? No, this is the driver. This is oh, the, the driver. driver. Right, yeah. This is just a ZX line. Exactly. Oh, well, that makes it a whole lot easier, doesn't it? Yeah. And yeah. The, <laughs> the same with the hybrids, right? Correct. Yes. And you're going the same direction as most guys. You're getting more and more loft in these hybrids because right. the, the irons are slowly disappearing away from yeah, the I know. Exactly. Yeah, we added a six this year, so yeah. as you can see. Yeah. So we go a two, three, four, five, and six in the hybrids. And um, again, you know, a lot of our design um, comes from the tour feedback. And, you know, whatever they kind of say, this is what you need, this is kind of we, how we model it, because Strixon is our tour brand. Um, and so two generations ago, they thought the hybrid was too long. Last year's generation, they thought it was too short, and now this one's kind of right in the this middle. This is the sweet spot. This right, is right. the sweet spot. It's, it's, tough, it's not, not one. Un unadjustable, correct? They don't have correct. Adjust adjustability, correct. which I yeah. actually prefer in hybrids. And yeah, in hybrids. it's difficult when you put this big round cog in there and you add onset, which is a bad thing. It's, it's, totally, it's not yeah. a big deal in a driver because you can bury it in the big huge head, but in a fairway, right. it's a bit of an issue. That's exactly what our engineers tell us yeah. at our sales meetings. Yeah. <laughs> and, and listening to a few of these new releases now, I think everyone struggles with that hybrid idea because you know most people are standing, oh, I want to pump my hybrid, I want to hit it long, but in reality, when you're getting down to this four, five, six section, you're like, well, you're trying to hit green with this. You need it to spin. Yeah, you need it to stick. Mm -hmm. You don't want it to jump off the face so much. Right. So, and exactly, tough. you know, it's. When you look down on a hybrid, most good players, the last thing they want to do is see something that looks hooked. I mean, right. everybody's deathly afraid of going left with our hybrids. Our hybrids are as clean as uh, I've seen. So they're relatively time. square and stuff. They're not all closed, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for years, hybrids, especially when they first came out, it's getting a little better now in the last recent years. But, you know, 90% of the hybrids, but you're so hook biased. Yes. That uh, pros are just struggling trying to find anything that doesn't want to go left. Um, you know, that's, that's kind of getting better now. There's a few out there that are better. Right. Obviously, this one's pretty cool clean and consistent yeah. looking but that was a big issue for a while yeah sure. I, mean, I mean i still have guys now you know come for fitting and they're and they're, they're afraid of hybrids and i'm like look right. lots of this problem is shaft you know oh, yeah. people yeah. put the wrong golf shaft in a hybrid or you know something soft because they're trying to get it airborne but the other is technology's jumped on people know that hybrids have 
you know, predominantly go left and they've got a lot of loft on them so they look like the shot as well so it's yeah. tinkering all those things down over the years has definitely changed that and you see hybrids and seven woods and things going in guys bags now on tour, oh, on tour. Yeah. yeah so there's guys that have you know six iron is as long as club i've seen out there yeah you know they're not going to go know. left yeah yeah well while we've got you here and i know they're in the bag behind you i think we should uh, do everyone a favor and show them a little bit of yeah. the real stuff rather than just the the, uh, <laughs> the on screen so if you can grab a couple of bits and uh, and uh, let's stick them in front of the camera. You guys can see what you're showing. So, yeah. you know, get it as close as you want to the lens and, and let everyone have a look. I'll let you do that. Let me do that. All right. Yeah. So here we got the uh, ZX5 LS here, uh, which we were seeing on the screen just a moment ago. You got that weight forward. Obviously, that's to bring that, that spin right down there. And then so the ZX5. You got five. All right. And then that's the five here. And that's exactly the opposite of that LS. You put that weight back. Allow for that forgiveness gotcha. of that driver to really show up there. Show the crown because we have a new finish yeah. on this one, the mat. It's going to be a tough one. Oh, yeah, I like yeah, that. They're very clean, like, actually. Looking we'll they? Yeah, yeah. You tell me when. Yeah, so uh, you I'll go. let you go ahead with the finish. Yeah, that's we've got a new uh, kind of a matte black finish. It's not the last year's was glossy. Yeah. This one's a right. little bit more cleaner. It just it definitely sets up. I'm Holds up a little better, too. It's easy to get a scratch on in a shiny exactly. stock. And looking over it right now, it's a great head shape. What am I holding here? Is this a seven? That's, That's the five. five. Oh, right. It looks like a tour head. It's, it's yeah. pretty nice to look at. Right. Sure. And then, of course, we're going to have the seven as well, and that's going to have the two adjustable weight ports there, uh, kind of our more anti-left driver that we have on our on our line. Are uh, they diff different uh, weights? How much of the weights, yeah. Do you remember off the top of your head there? What eight, are the weights? Eight, I believe. Eight and 12. Eight and 12. <laughs> okay. And 12's heel side? I, well, it's, everything's adjustable. We have different weight kits that you can buy. You can make it as... You know, you can go a four and an eight, or an eight and a twelve. You know, right. So. Right. Yeah, okay. Got exactly. sure, man. So you have, yeah. uh, well, it says it's eight and twelve. I, I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm sorry about that. That's right. Oh, hang on. Adjustable eight gram weight eight. there, and uh, yeah, it doesn't say on the seven, but that's yeah. it's still there. Right. But that gives you an ability eight to, eight, to mess right. around with swing weights a little bit. Eight and, and four. Eight and four. Eight and four. So it's twelve yeah. total. Okay. Yeah, 12. <laughs> yeah. there, I knew there was a twelve there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And do you have a hybrid in, in the fairway in the bag there yeah. too? Yep. Everything looks really clean looking. Yeah, it's um, that's what I'll say. You know, it's uh, and, uh, the wacky looking. It's a relatively simple line too. Very, very really good. Not much going on, which I love about a driver. I hate all the crazy colors and things <laughs> on the back of them. Right. Yeah, it's super clean. Uh, so here we're going to have the uh, ZX fairway wood. Again, that's going to have that same finish on the top as well. Uh, so that matte black. Um, again, shaping wise, it's I think it's super clean this year. I think we really stepped up our game on that a little bit uh and then of course there's the hybrid as well yeah they both look good yeah. good yeah nice like kind of shallow fair, i like a shallow fairway wood for you know for fitting with i think people sit behind the ball and they think they can get under the center of gravity pretty easy yeah and you have got the word rebound frame on the bottom of it but is there any evidence of the technology in terms of design that we can see right here no it's all internal it's all internal yeah okay except for that cosmetic wording the wording yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm assuming that had nothing to do with it <laughs> little flash of red going yeah. past and obviously not going over all the robot data today but we will actually we will yeah mark and i'll sit stuff. down and yep. we'll we'll post sure. all of the the miss hits and the good hits cool. and uh yeah yep. awesome thanks a lot for coming out and showing us that we're going to jump in and we're going to do some uh some more irons um wedges and some golf balls so make sure everyone stays in in tune and, and watches out for these episodes awesome thanks thank you thank thanks, you guys